Two American astronauts who have already been in space longer than they expected will have to wait several more months for that ride back to Earth. Boeing's Starliner, which was supposed to bring the astronauts home, will now return to Earth unmanned. Here's ABC's Chuck Syverson with details. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams launched into space back on June 5th. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. A test flight mission that was supposed to last eight days. But now they will not be returning home until late February, stretching their time in space to eight months. Space flight is risky, even at its safest and even at its most routine. And a test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine. NASA announcing Saturday they will return home using a SpaceX Crew-9 Dragon capsule instead of Boeing Starliner. The decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. Issues with Starliner's thrusters and helium leaks led NASA to make the decision to bring the troubled spacecraft back to Earth unmanned next month. NASA now turning to Boeing's competitor in the space race, SpaceX, to bring those astronauts home. It became very obvious that Crew-9 was the best option, fly up two empty seats, have Butch and Sonny join uh, the increment crew and return on Crew-9. The SpaceX Crew-9 mission will launch no earlier than September 24th. NASA and SpaceX are working on several details of that launch, including reconfiguring seats on the Crew-9 Dragon and adjusting the manifest to carry additional cargo, personal effects, and Dragon-specific spacesuits for Wilmore and Williams. All of this is a stunning blow to Boeing's space program, which is already massively over budget. Its Starliner has been plagued with a number of issues over the years before June's test flight. And how certain are you that Boeing will ever launch Starliner with a crew on board again? 100%. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York.